Yo, what's going on, everybody? Riot's here playing Ark Survival. Up top, up top, top shot, top shot. Ark Survival Evolved. There we go. Now we got it. just too freaking excited. I'm surrounded by these four creatures, these four new monsters right here. I guess these two are dinosaurs, but nevertheless, to a canary, a cat is a monster. These things are incredible. I was just doing a giant uh, Ark Genesis warm up stream on Twitch when I had to freaking stop because these two incredible creatures were added, which are, of course, made by Garuga, who does make some official Ark stuff, but most importantly, shall be noted as like the most talented Ark mod dev to ever touch anything. And the result is always dinosaurs that are better quality and more detailed than usually anything in Ark Survival Evolved. So even though these aren't like technically 100% official, they are still. I still consider them official Ark Dinosaurs. If you guys want to see more creature spotlights on my channel, or I guess just modded battles with epic stuff, like at Kurapeko over here being adorable as all hell. Kurapeko, of course, if you piss this thing off, it summons Devil Joe, and the apocalypse commences. So, of course, we're going to be very dainty around him. Gobel, looking as incredible as ever. Honestly, one of my favorite monsters in the old school Monster Hunter mod, because, like, that, that's exactly why. That right there, he's put it in perfect form. Just a giant fish monster, bro. Honestly, this would be one of the scariest things you could see coming at you. Deep in the ocean, or in any water, or on land to be honest. I'm not that fast and I get winded easy. Also, you guys should 100% follow me on Instagram if you ever want to know what I'm up to because, again, my Twitter did officially get banned. I might be able to get it unbanned. I shouldn't have- I told some dude I was gonna kick his ass for insulting police and now I am banned. But, yeah, in case they don't ever come back, it might be your only chance to ever hear from me. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, we have the Conca Venatar over here, which because the creature's epicness, and my god is there such epicness, it does essentially belong in desert biomes. It's made to be essentially a sand shark, but I figured a more arctic biome was fitting for the Krylophosaurus over here, and I don't know, this creature could just deal with it for a minute. <laughs> Okay, so the creature's moves are left click to bite, obviously. While digging, this attack is faster and deals more damage. While walking, its attack does piercing damage. Oh my god. Right click to switch stance. This switches between digging and walking stances. And space bar while digging to jump, which of course does nothing in combat. Only serves for like novelty purposes, but sounds freaking insane right there. I freaking love this creature, dude. It's so insanely big, and its eyes are terrifying. It definitely looks like it would have the hard external skin of something that digs underground and lives that way in the deserts. See, this is insane. Freaking, like, one of my favorite TV shows as a kid was Street Sharks, and that's essentially what this lets you become. Now, of course, Spacebar is... Oh, my God! What, what in the Tremors Christ is that? That's terrifying right there. <laughs> Imagine... Imagine just being stranded in the desert in Ark, making your way across the landscape and seeing this kind of crap coming towards you. Oh my god, my butt would clench so tight you could cut steel with it. Of course, you can bite while underground and then, oh my god, that's how you switch back and forth. That is freaking crazy. I feel like I, would do, I, I could do this forever before it gets boring. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch back. Here's the tail swipe as well, which does kick up a freaking sand cloud, which suffocates and slows its victims. This takes a lot of stamina to use, good for making getaways and stronger creatures. Or again, stronger creatures. I'm reading the page as I do it. Look at that tail though. I mean, if we were actually in this creature's natural landscape, oh my god, it, it uses so much stamina, I didn't even realize. You're weird shaped, bro. You're just weird. Anytime one of these things walks by in a video, I will always get distracted. Actually, buddy, let's go ahead and see you get... I thought it was going to go underground, but it's just as fancy anyways. See, this is cool, because these creatures do typically move around in packs as well. So, you wouldn't be getting jumped by one of them. You'd be getting jumped by freaking many, which is only makes it becomes a feeding frenzy on land sharks. It's the scariest thing. You'll also note this is the aberrant version of the skin, whereas the one over there is like the natural sand version. It's freaking gorgeous right here. I mean, obviously a bear it never looks like crazy during the day, but at nighttime, yeah, see, that's freaking cool right there. That'd be so scary to see coming at you. I wonder how that would even work, because they prefer sand, perhaps like the surface of aberration then would be a much more fitting, because definitely some would spawn aberrant naturally, but they would need to be a specific sand biome for them to feel right at home. Talk about something else just to make the surface of aberration that much scarier. Jesus Christ. Also, my good buddy Syntac already covered this in another video, but for those of you who don't know, you do tame them with C4. You throw it at them, you explode them, and it does mass amounts of torpor damage to them. It's pretty freaking spectacular. But yeah, obviously there's no point in taming one right now because I want to see these things fight. 
I'd say that's more for like a survival series type situation. Alright, here we have the, what are you called again, buddy? Crylophosaurus. Which is such a genius name for it, because it's like some sort of cryogenic freezing dinosaur, but also similar to a Dilophosaurus. On the mod page, it says, Seldom seen in cold regions, Crylophosaurus appears as a small carnivore theropod, but poses a huge threat to anyone who crosses its pass. Path. <laughs> pass. <laughs> Storing a volatile substance in its throat, Crylophosaurus can use this as a weapon to slow down, knock out, and even freeze victims. Upon successfully subduing a target with one of the debilitations, Crylophosaurus are known to enter a frenzied state, which boosts their attack, defense, and speed. Tame Crylophosaurus make for an astounding utility mount while retaining their ability to debilitate enemies. Friendly Crylophosaurus can grant a powerful layer of ice armor to allies. What? That's freaking crazy. Are you serious? So left click is bite, obviously. Right click allows cryo to refill its cryo liquid. C is the cryo's torpor liquid. And control is cryo's stance charge. And then space bars jump, obviously. Just, just, just for the cherry on top. Dude, this thing has so many moves, it's crazy. It's obviously not as fast as the Conch of Venatar, but of course, it's not a sand shark. It's a freaking, it's, it's found in, obviously you can tell by the thickened fur as well. Such a good note by Garuga, he always makes his creatures look like they actually live in the biome he creates them in. Okay, so left click bite, while in Kraus special stance, this becomes Kraus freezing breath attack. This attack will freeze targets, performing this on allies will grant them an ice armor, buff, blah blah blah, I think we already read that. Okay, so this is when we're in current bite mode. This is when we're in ice mode, except nothing's coming out. <laughs> What's, I don't have enough crowd liquid. Alright, that's my fault. Okay, let's refill it with right click. Oh, that's so beautiful. Obviously, right now, we're not picking anything off, but like, you got to imagine that there's snow beneath us and we're gathering li literally cryo liquid. That's so- ha -ha! Like it got all blue and cool! Oh my god, Garugi, you freaking genius! You mastermind of humans! Okay, so now we reactivate this, and then let's actually go over to a friendly over here. Let's see if it gives Gobel some freaking ice resistance. That'd be the coolest thing ever. Nope, I was too far away. I wonder how this actually works. Perhaps it'll just show that it has... Whoa, yeah, literally has an ice boost. That's freaking crazy. It shows a little symbol and obviously a bunch of other stuff. What a freaking crazy useful creature to have. Both of these. My god. This dude is slow as hell. I guess you'd really have to- Oh my god, look, I still have so much crowd liquid in my throat. Dude, that is so freaking cool. Leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Come on, mod spotlights are an amazing thing. We gotta get them back around here. So it just freezes this dude up. Oh, ha <laughs> That is insane. And then I could just go ahead and die on this creature I just froze up. I mean, eventually he'll die. Yeah, as the ice thaws. That's amazing! And then just right click to refill it again. You can just hold it down until it's full. Wow! That's so cool! C is Cryo's Torpor Liquid. Y'all gotta spit on, bro. If we're actually able to knock this Shantu out right now, then this is some crazy powerful stuff, because Shantus are a difficult tame. Alright. I'm gonna have to freeze this guy up. Freeze! Now, where'd the other one go? <laughs> this creature is like an X-Men. It's like having an X-Men on your team. If only it was a little faster. I guess this whole thing is like slowing stuff, though. Oh my god! No, 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 no! You stupid crit! Don't do it, buddy! This is a peaceful mission. It went to sleep. Holy crap! That's crazy that I'm full on liquid again! This is the greatest creature that has ever existed. I might be adding this to my freaking Genesis series. There's a good chance I'm gonna. You know, what we should do is just, yeah, I was trying to figure out what we should do. But this is definitely the coolest thing to do. It just freezes them in their tracks. That's nuts. Can't spit right now. That's unfortunate. Okay, it's because we're jumping. Could we just keep? I guess you definitely can't spam it. Could you spit on them while they're frozen, though? That'd be crazy. Come on. Come on, baby. Go to sleep once you're unfrozen. I really hope it does. It's totally gonna. It really did. Best taming creature in the world right here. I am smitten. This thing is amazing. I love it. I love it so much. Oh my god. All right, ladies, get it on. Got, oh my god, no! No, oh my god, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, come on, man. That is so stupid. How did that just happen? <laughs>
Okay, this place is just a million times better for fighting anyways. It's an actual arena. It's where we've always done this. Here's Gobel, level 300. Here's the Conk of Venatar, level 300. I mean the Krylophosaurus. Sorry, it's been a very long day of live streaming. Dude, look how I froze this thing, though. Look how crazy this is. This is like, he's just infinitely doing it. It's like the most epic way to freeze time I've ever seen in my life. Alright, see, naturally, without me in the mix, they become buddies. Not buddies, but passive creatures. Neither one of them exists in the other one's food chain. But Gobel doesn't give a crap, because he follows my orders. Oh, yeah. It's just crazy, because it looks like, realistically, Gobel would just, like, expand its job. Oh, you froze him! He's completely frozen him. Because he's not an art creature, he doesn't have a whole freeze, like, frozen animation or anything. So his, instead, the character model just kind of freezes up without moving. Did you just kill him? No, he's just not- what's, what's going on here, bud? You've barely done any damage to him, he's just... FROZEN! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I think now they're just buddies. Gobel's mind is just freaking blown right now. He's never been frozen before, he's a little shell-shocked. What's going on, buddy? It's okay. Get out there. There he goes, he's going back for it. That's gonna look so epic in a second when he- when he- when he brings his mouth he's unfortunately, he's not faster. Okay, there we go. He's just gonna freaking frit. No, the Gobel's gonna kill him before he freezes him again. Is oh, he's not! Oh my god! Poor guy. Dude, what an incredible power. Just to be able to freeze anything that comes in contact with you, you just... You're so freaking unstoppable. Even this, like, he has so many chances to get away. What's nice is it appears if a wild one attacks you, it might leave you alone after it freezes you, or it might just be getting bored because there's no player presence. I have dev commands on making me invisible to the dinosaurs. Yeah, it seems to just- Oh my god! You got hit with the quills on that one! He froze him again. He froze him again. Oh my god! You dirty little bastard! Honestly, it's a pretty fair fight. Maybe not even close considering the difference in the amount of damage they do. I think I just got a Twitch subscriber. But when it comes to other stuff, like if this was an actual like person on top of this freaking creep, this creature, this Krylophosaur, I feel like the, 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 the Gobel would have been killed because he just keeps him frozen. Oh my god. Really, buddy? Poor guy. I mean, he's, just a, he's just a sea creature. He's so susceptible to this kind of crap as well. You got one more shot at this, buddy. Make it count. Yes! Oh, that's awesome. I don't know why I'm cheering for him. Because this one was the tamed one. I had to cheer for him. So there you have it. It's actually a very freaking interesting fight. The creature can just freeze anything up at all. Like, honestly, if you just boosted the stamina on one of those things, you could just keep this- you could keep everything frozen forever. It's, it's just crazy. Uh, unfortunately, it couldn't put ice armor on itself, though. It's the only way it could get more cool. Okay, so part of me really wanted the Conquer Venatar to fight something crazier, like something I haven't even shown you guys in these in these files, but I think Baroth would be the most all-around fair fight. Considering the size is pretty much honestly it's not up, it's as close as to the same as we can get with these monsters. Plus they both control the desert or like sand domains for the most part. Or you know what I mean. I forgot you do not want to get anything wrong when talking about Monster Hunter creatures. In a last video, I forgot what Diablos ate. I forgot he ate cactus, and like a hundred of you guys got so pissed at me. Like, I, I just forgot. I'm so sorry. Either way, though, I feel like this right here, this would be a good freaking fight. At least I think it would. A level 300 Baroth first, a level 300 Conk of Venatar, which of course just controls the sand. Oh my god, he goes right for him. That's terrifying. He just tears it. Jesus Christ, he's not giving him much of it. Oh my god! You gotta fight back, buddy. You gotta smash your face into his face. Where'd he go? Oh, that, look at him. Insane. That Conquer Venatar is so well done. Honestly, it's any man's fight. I'm so freaking confused who's winning this right now. I feel like Baroth definitely does more damage, but... I almost got freaking mixed up in the snake. That's such a good way to escape battle. Where'd he go? Can't even see what's going on throughout the clouds. It's so crazy. No! Wait, okay. Woof! I don't even see what's happening in there right now. There we go. <laughs> Here's, here we got some visuals. God, this thing would be so scary to fight. Honestly, both of them would. All this thing get lost in the sandstorm. Oh my god, straight up suffocating in there. You could suffocate in the sandstorm. That's that's so nuts. Come on, buddy. 
Smash your face into his face. No, get out of there. Imagine how scary it is getting swarmed by a pack of these things, which is what will essentially happen. The amount of dust that would extend on for miles. Like, it's got some really good radius, and then it escapes and it comes back through while you're in the dust. Seeing some damage indication on the Conquer Venatar. I really hope I'm saying that name right, or I'm gonna feel so freaking stupid. Shoot, it's Conca Venator. I've been saying Venator this entire time just because that's how I kind of naturally pronounce O-R, but I just looked it up and now I feel stupid. Hopefully you guys aren't too freaking mad at me for that. Oh my god. No! Damn, dude! The Conca Venator is freaking crazy! Look at it doing its little victory jumps! That's the craziest thing I've seen so far. Wow, that's spectacular. Alright, so there you have it, the Conca Venator, which again, sorry for calling it Conca Venator. Damn it, it's like such a little thing I didn't even think about. Either way though, I feel like those were some pretty freaking epic fights. Some pretty well distributed damage, like they were- Look at him doing his victory laps over here! This is just how they act in the wild. That's so spectacular. <laughs> it's- it's- it's so incredibly well done. But yes, make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more stuff like this, and I'll see beautiful people on my Genesis video or my Genesis streams, and yeah, peace!